pastor you know one night i was i was watching william branham and while i was watching him i could see the presence and the glory of god upon that man and i said why were people criticizing this man because at the later part of his life and his ministry please help me with the drums help me with the cymbal and i was watching him with with passion i said why would such a man be criticized by people who carried so much dimension of god and i said lord help us to honor the people that you have used and while i prayed that something happened suddenly there was like a cold sensation from my head from my laptop it started going down gradually gradually over the course of 30 minutes i didn't know what had happened by the next meeting as soon as i went there suddenly i began to see the names of people and i started seeing a lot of supernatural things until then here and there i would walk in the word of knowledge and here and so on and so forth i learned that honor is the key for reception whatever you despise you will never have it even if you are around the proximity of it is one of the reasons why we hardly receive in the body of christ there is no discernment i want to pray i see the angels of the lord in this place help them by wisdom oh god heaven's gates open up with understanding you order the seasons creating day and night turning darkness into light arranging the stars to your pleasing in the name of jesus i stretch my hands let the fire of the holy ghost from my left to my right in the name of jesus the ignition that must come upon lives and destinies at the count of three i want you to shout that name jesus and as you shout that name there are many of you the dreams and the visions that you have had you have seen yourself walking in supernatural dimensions that grace is about to step into your life one two three shout that name take that grace help them please please help them take that grace in the name of jesus fresh fire upon your destiny i shift you to levels in the spirit dimensions of power dimensions of grace drink of ancient fountains in the name of jesus the christ hallelujah now please listen revelation is a spirit there is the spirit of revelation Paul called it the grace that makes all men see. Ephesians chapter 3 and verse 9. There is a grace that can make all men see. I want to pray for you. There are men and women who came to Wafbeck with hunger. Hunger to receive. Spiritual illumination. Access to the mysteries of the kingdom. I stretch my hands. In the name of Jesus, the son of the living God. May that grace come upon your life right now may that grace come upon your life right now help her please hallelujah hallelujah please listen to me the lord is leading in my spirit even if it's in 30 seconds to just say something this is a vision that i've never shared but my spirit will not allow me in that vision i was in a pastor's conference there were many men of god around this nation and across africa i say this to the glory of the lord and i'm saying it just because of something god wants to do and while i was there 
they were fathers i didn't know some of them it looked like some of them had died but they were still represented and then among them i began to see the fathers of faith in this nation they were seated but they were in front then there were other vacant seats in front of them but people had not yet occupied them i said what is this that i'm seeing all of a sudden i saw our great father in the faith that the adebue and he was sitting in one of the seats and he looked through the crowd and pointed me slowly he said come they were serving a meal and he got up from the seat and sat on the ground with the meal and i could see anger and bitterness i was even afraid while i was walking and i was coming out i said what is this this our father wants to embarrass me and he said climb the stage when i climbed it he said sit down let's eat i said i would never do that i came from a background where i was well trained i will never do that i honor you sir you are my father you are my grandfather i will not do that he said do you respect me i said yes he said eat when i dipped my hands all of a sudden i came out from that vision from that day the creative dimension of the prophetic the grace to speak and cause things forgive me if i sound arrogant it is never my intention but i'm saying that so that you will receive this grace that is on us we are not the originators of it it's a relay in the name of jesus the son of the living god i stand by the god of all flesh and i declare every challenge that has refused to give way over your life i come by the rod of a higher priesthood and in the name of jesus christ i declare that challenge is gone forever gone forever gone forever gone forever gone forever every door that would not open i speak to it by prophecy lift up your heads all ye gates and be ye lifted ancient doors i speak to those doors help them please Ephata, be open Ephata, be open i speak to everyone here trusting god for a job according to the time of life i declare by the spirit of grace return with testimonies There are people in need of restoration the bible says they are taken for a prey and none say it restore i join my faith with the faith of your pastor the angel of the lord over this house and i decree and declare whatever has left you that should not leave you i call it by name help them please my god and i command it to return back to you i command it to return back to you lost opportunities lost relationships resources hear the word of the lord return in the name of jesus can i pray for you every seat you should be sitting there and there is another sitting there i stand by the voice of prophecy i overturn i overturn i overturn until you sit at that seat of destiny I don't kill but any man who vowed that over his dead body that you will rise that prayer becomes answered job said he will deliver you from six things one of it is the scourging tongues of men i declare over you that every tongue that has risen against you risen against your life your ministry your influence i stand by the god of heaven i call upon the god of jeshuron the one who rides upon the wings of the winds and i declare in the name of jesus that tongue is judged forever everyone here trusting god for the fruit of the womb in the name of jesus by this time next year we declare by the spirit of god by this time next year return with your miracle
in the name of Jesus. overturn i overturn until you sit at that seat of destiny i don't kill but any man who found that over his dead body that you will rise that prayer becomes answered job said he will deliver you from six things one of it is the scourging tongues of men i declare over you that every tongue that has risen against you risen against your life your ministry your influence i stand by the god of heaven i call upon the god of jeshuron the one who rides upon the wings of the winds and i declare in the name of jesus that tongue is judged forever everyone here trusting god for the fruit of the womb in the name of jesus by this time next year we declare by the spirit of god by this time next year return with your miracle in the name of Je many years ago i became sick and tired of religion i became sick and tired of watching the sick and the oppressed go even though i came from a background that was evangelical i knew there had to be more my hunger drove me to begin to search the scripture and the life of men and women who were mightily used by god in every generation i always share this story to edify the body of christ i speak on this platform to the church universal there is something that the hunger of a man can do when you become hungry and desperate for the truth even in ignorance the mercy of god honors it i remember weeks turning to days sir days turning to weeks i said god you cannot send me to a generation with nothing what will be my message and that night the lord jesus christ came to me when he walked into my room i'm standing there and watching his majesty the one preachers talk about i said my god could i have been able to represent this man if i did not see him i was i was embarrassed by my ignorance of him even though i was preaching he never said a word yet he said many things it was then i knew in the realm of the spirit you've heard me say it that you do not have to talk to speak the light of god is his language it entered my spirit he stretched his hand towards me and a beam of light entered my spirit how i did not die is a mystery that i will ask him to explain when we get to heaven and then in another vision he mandated me he said every nation and every territory you go to there must be someone in that meeting the light that came from me to you that light there has to be someone that that light will land upon please help those under the anointing when this happened at another separate encounter the lord spoke to me and said my son i give you my presence from this day as a gift all of a sudden i see this huge angel standing and i said who is this and he said this angel will walk with you i said what is his name and he said he's called the angel of the lord's presence and i said is this not supposed to be god himself i was confused and this is the reason why many times you see some of these manifestations i explain this thing to you so you don't mix what we are doing with respectfully speaking some of the excesses you steer around because it is important that we give a precedence to the demonstration of the spirit upon our lives lest it be confused i have stayed faithful to that mandate that every time god gives me an opportunity to minister to his people i know that he draws people with the hunger to receive we have few minutes and i plead for just a few minutes but there is something that must come upon your life
Oh, come, oh, come, Emmanuel, and run some captivity, Israel. Oh, come, oh, come, Emmanuel, and run some captivity, Israel. Rejoice, rejoice. Emmanuel has come to you, his Israel. He has come to you, his Israel. Pastor, you know one night I was I was watching William Branham. And while I was watching him, I could see the presence and the glory of God upon that man and I said why were people criticizing this man because at the later part of his life and his ministry please help me with the drums help me with the cymbal and I was watching him with with passion I said why would such a man be criticized by people who carried so much dimension of God and I said Lord help us to honor the people that you have used and while i prayed that something happened suddenly there was like a cold sensation from my head from my laptop it started going down gradually gradually over the course of 30 minutes i didn't know what had happened by the next meeting as soon as i went there suddenly i began to see the names of people and i started seeing a lot of supernatural things until then here and there i would walk in the word of knowledge and here and so on and so forth i learned that honor is the key for reception whatever you despise you will never have it even if you are around the proximity of it it's one of the reasons why we hardly receive in the body of christ there is no discernment i want to pray I see the angels of the Lord in this place. Parusa ziza has kabaruda shiata. Help them. By wisdom, O oh God, heaven's gates open up. With understanding, you order the seasons. Creating day and night, turning darkness into light. Arranging the stars to your place. In the name of jesus i stretch my hands let the fire of the holy ghost from my left to my right in the name of jesus the ignition that must come upon lives and destinies at the count of three i want you to shout that name jesus and as you shout that name there are many of you the dreams and the visions that you have had you have seen yourself walking in supernatural dimensions that grace is about to step into your life one two three shout that name Take that grace, help them please. Please help them, take that grace. In the name of Jesus, fresh fire upon your destiny. I shift you to levels in the spirit, dimensions of power, dimensions of grace. Drink of ancient fountains. In the name of Jesus the Christ. Hallelujah. Now, please listen. Revelation is a spirit. There is the spirit of revelation. Paul called it the grace that makes all men see. Ephesians chapter 3 and verse 9. There is a grace that can make all men see. I want to pray for you. There are men and women who came to Wafbeck with hunger. Hunger to receive. Spiritual illumination. Access to the mysteries of the kingdom. I stretch my hands. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, may that grace come upon your life right now. May that grace come upon your life right now. Help her, please. Harusa ziata hashala pando ziaka, kradaka shala kaso brendeke. Eke paruda sazia shaha salabadu sazia. 
Maka prata katosha la kapanda sala katosiata. Hallelujah. Please listen to me. The Lord is leading in my spirit, even if it's in 30 seconds, to just say something. This is a vision that I've never shared, but my spirit will not allow me. In that vision, I was in a pastor's conference. There were many men of God around this nation and across Africa. I say this to the glory of the Lord and I'm saying it just because of something God wants to do. And while I was there, there were fathers. I didn't know some of them. It looked like some of them had died, but they were still represented. And then among them, I began to see the fathers of faith in this nation. They were seated, but they were in front. Then there were other vacant seats in front of them, but people had not yet occupied them. I said, what is this that I'm seeing? All of a sudden, I saw our great father in the faith, that Yadebue, and he was sitting in one of the seats. And he looked through the crowd and pointed me slowly. He said, come. They were serving a meal. And he got up from the seat and sat on the ground with the meal. And I could see anger and bitterness. I was even afraid. While I was walking and I was coming out, I said, what is this? This our father wants to embarrass me. And he said, climb the stage. When I climbed it, he said, sit down, let's eat. I said, I would never do that. I came from a background where I was well trained. I will never do that. I honor you, sir. You are my father. You are my grandfather. I will not do that. He said, do you respect me? I said, yes. He said, eat. When I dipped my hands, all of a sudden, I came out from that vision. From that day, the creative dimension of the prophetic the grace to speak and cause things forgive me if i sound arrogant it is never my intention but i'm saying that so that you will receive this grace that is on us we are not the originators of it it's a relay in the name of jesus the son of the living god i stand by the god of all flesh and i declare every challenge that has refused to give way over your life kabaruta shalakatusi apata has come by the rod of a higher priesthood and in the name of jesus christ i declare that challenge is gone forever gone forever gone forever gone forever gone forever every door that would not open i speak to it by prophecy lift up your heads all ye gates and be ye lifted ancient doors i speak to those doors help them please Ephata, be open Ephata, be open i speak to everyone here trusting god for a job according to the time of life i declare by the spirit of grace return with testimonies There are people in need of restoration the bible says they are taken for a prey and none say it restore i join my faith with the faith of your pastor the angel of the lord over this house and i decree and declare whatever has left you that should not leave you i call it by name help them please my god and i command it to return back to you i command it to return back to you lost opportunities lost relationships resources hear the word of the lord return in the name of jesus can i pray for you every seat you should be sitting there and there is another sitting there i stand by the voice of prophecy i overturn i overturn i overturn until you sit at that seat of destiny I don't kill but any man who vowed that over his dead body that you will rise that prayer becomes answered job 
God said he will deliver you from six things. One of it is the scourging tongues of men. I declare over you that every tongue that has risen against you, risen against your life, your ministry, your influence, I stand by the God of heaven. I call upon the God of Jeshurun, the one who rides upon the wings of the winds. And I declare in the name of Jesus, that tongue is judged forever. everyone here trusting god for the fruit of the womb in the name of jesus by this time next year we declare by the spirit of god by this time next year return with your miracle in the name of